Rated Redemption Gameplay Part 9 9 on 8 or 9 on Ok, this is one This is Rated Redemption 2 Arm chit lagala Arm chit up pochi Clean it Stamina Okay What are you doing? Oh, you Weapon use for the solid gun. I see. Okay. Solid and a cutter. Whoever you are, both don't want any trouble. Check us with the color there. Carbima or instead of Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Give it, please. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help. Obliged. Mm-hmm. Me hice a por mo. Ground security. I was hoping you talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Yep, on the line. Here I are, BG. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. 
Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. Thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity. I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds, it seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet. Please. Uh -huh. sound that yeah never to see are you Penelope Braithwaite well, I guess I am I've got a letter for you oh. and a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... <laughs> strange. <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? 
No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are... there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, mm -hmm. will you give this to him? Sure. Ahí sí, ahí yo, digo que yo había visto Singa Singa el lado habría por más Así que no, voy a ir a por aquí Y por favor, me voy a ir a esa arla You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike mm. incest... Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family. We've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. I better get going. Let's go. What am I doing? Let's get some good food. All right, let's go. Mount up, all right. Follow me to Rhodes. Come on. Come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Pa pa, varam varam, pinna dia varam pa. The parkum pudra dalan dalan lal. Easy 
Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, oh, madam. So well, just treat them, us I like know. the sheep, okay, okay. and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and now, we fetch now. the water. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? Just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Yeah, Maybe a messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. Just to make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, Don't give it a rest, you sorry okay. fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Go home! Shut your mouth! Go home! 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 Go Equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Founding fathers, not founding mothers, you silly old goat. This philosophy dependent on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. <laughs> what are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, where are we just leaving? <laughs> Who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. 
Quick now. We are all Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Don't go that way. Land of progress. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Nada. Pa, na parandu ko yung ah, ichi tigay. Aawula, aawula, vika, aawula, vika, arikala, aawula, vika, arikala. Apa, apa yung tigla, apa yung tigla, apa yung tigla. Poy, pono, pono ka kalam ni ko. Nada, marpe. I'm only joking with you. Quarter to the Hey there, can I have a word? Our oh, second thoughts, stay right there. Hey, you don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all in ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Hmm. This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me.
नेक्स्ट Greetings. Good. I bet there's some very disappointed bounty hunters just outside. Thanks for your assistance. What? ट्रेन होना पात हो। शरीफ ऑफिस डच्ची नहीं उल्लर का ऑफ कोर्स ऑफ कोर्स ओह एंड हियर इज माय डियर फ्रेंड आर्थर कैलाहन बॉय इज अ हंटर बॉय इज अ किलर Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Gray. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did. Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, 
I feel you were hard done by losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't uh -huh. seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. What do you got a police out of car? I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this country. <laughs> it's good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down. A Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Archibald, how are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you, there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor, but the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being mm -hmm. rich, Hold on huh? that. <laughs> So I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. Ah, I do get on. See that wagon? No, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Hey, you I swear they've got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Look, suit and tie, 
One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Impressive. You got a keen eye. Let's see if we've got Sarah any Maria identity. Maria Sultana, We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Yeah. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Go right at the crossroads. Well, sounds like you fellas got your work cut out for you around here. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Could drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaite's are. Selling moonshine to murderers. Easy! We ain't in that much of a hurry. I tell folks don't even speak to them. Don't even look them in the eye. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite's, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up. Then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? Said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. And she. In 78? How are we gonna handle this? Well, the way I. See... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. But. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive. Un Understood? Round them up and take this operation down for good. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill. Me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers.
Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and tie them up. Got it, Deputy Wit. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. God damn it. Hey! We got an intruder! What? Punja Meduva Poi Pandandra Kumriado. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerates. Bridge over there. You wait here. I'll deal with him. Okay. Make it quick. <laughs> I'll tie this bastard up. I, I think there's another one by the still. Shade a pick up on it. Don't get order. Power of moon chiller. Can that I agree on La Mulia thought on? Good work, gentlemen. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so, think you're real funny, don't you? tell me about that. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear.
पंचर आई थी कुदरत कुछ क्लीन आए इगला मान तो उन्हें Well done <laughs> Well forgive me but me and my men must return to our lives Ah Seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine Sure would you like us to well, I normally take it for personal consumption it's sort of part of the job But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans, of course. My cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others. If you know what I mean. Only I didn't quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum! I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move! We have a life on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here! Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes! Show it to Hosea! I'm sure he can find a use for it! Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I'm no creature too small for the ire of Arthur Morgan. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean? What the hell are you shooting for? What do you mean? Young Dutch. I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. I'm not
வந்துட்டேன் வந்துட்டேன் I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're I'm gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> <laughs> Nerf! Both of you! Well, come with me then. You wanna head out there? Run with the men? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. Them things hunting us, so they got guns of their own. Mm -hmm. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Adler are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list. And can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, Princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Mm -hmm. yeah. You cool down then yet? I guess. I ain't no skull yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all got to do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so <laughs> I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a T 
Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Clearly okay. We ain't in that much Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. I'm going to the post office. I'm going to go to the post office. I'm going to go to the Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Faster. I think this is Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie. Not lady. I know. Yeah! So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just. Treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What uh what you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lamorne Raider Country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Oh. <laughs> go, go, go! God damn it! Oh, that's a lot of 
Hey, we don't die. Seem to have grown out of playing soldiers. Anyway, won't you go upset and Pearson about that letter? How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of bottles. Not a chance. You need oh, to get that yourself that's... killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well... They say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. Okay, save up on it, duck on it. Okay, you don't want to get playing with the chicken, or the pot or something. Bye.